And joining us from Washington, D.C., Sarah Esquer Flores, who is the Deputy Communications Director for the Republican National Committee. Sarah, it's always good to see your smiling face. And there is some news that Republicans can smile about this morning. A new AP GFK poll shows that women are actually moving in the direction of the Republican Party since last month. The poll shows that the percentage of female voters in favor of a Republican-controlled Congress has risen from 40% last month to 44% this month. Sarah, what do you think uh, you accounts for this shift in women's public opinion? Well, Democrats haven't wanted to talk about the rising health care costs under Obamacare. They haven't wanted to talk about the uh, Carter year labor force participation rate under Obama's economy. And it's not surprising that women want candidates who will talk about those things. Democrats scare tactics. They've run their course. And I think their credibility is lost with male and female voters. And that's what this poll is reflecting. Sarah, those who are critical of the GOP's policies say that the party has always done well with married female voters, but that it's tone deaf when it comes to appealing to unmarried young female voters. So how do you counter this criticism? There's no question that we can do better with young people across the board, and I think we're, we're working very hard on that. Um, that being said, if you're getting your news from The Daily Show, it's not surprising that they're taking one side versus the other. We need to do a better job of getting that message out, but I think what this poll is reflecting is that we are, and it's working. Well, uh, we talked about the overall party identification, uh, breaking it down by gender for Republican control, but for control of the United States Senate, uh, there are some women Republicans running who, uh, who uh, are having tough campaigns now. As you take a look at this, what roles uh, for the Senate campaigns do you think the gender gap or the lack thereof will prove most pivotal? Well, first of all, I want to be Joni Ernst when I grow up. Uh, she is our candidate in Iowa and she is fantastic. I think that uh, male and female, again, voters um, are, are very attracted to her as a candidate and think that she has the right solutions for Iowa. Uh, Shelley Moore Capito in West Virginia, another great female candidate that we have on the ballot this time around. But if you look at states like Colorado, where uh, the Democratic Senator Mark Udall has been running nonstop ads trying to scare Colorado voters, and Cory Gardner, our candidate, has come out and just said, it's not true, here's what I actually stand for. And at the same time, I have a plan for jobs, I have a plan for the economy, for energy in Colorado, uh, that Mark Udall's scare tactics are really backfiring in a state like that with women. Sarah, the LA Times has an article saying Latinos may sit out from voting in the midterms in part because they're angry with President Obama. Will this be the, you know, will this hurt Democrats if they choose not to vote? I mean, absolutely. I think Democrats across the board have a lower enthusiasm uh, in polls heading into this election, and that will hurt Democrats. I think that Latinos and Hispanics in particular have really stopped trusting this administration. There's promise after promise. Immigration is going to be my number one priority. And then he delays his plans until after the election, regardless of which side of that debate you're on. Again, it goes to credibility. Uh, during election time, a lot of promises are being made by Democrats and they're never really coming through on them. So Sarah, before we let you go, and we, we understand you have a role to play uh, there uh, with the Republican National Committee, but I just wanna kind of find out what you're thinking. You're looking at these races. This ain't your first rodeo. <laughs> if, there is, if there is a sleeper special a race that that people have not paid close attention to but you believe the republican stands a reasonably good chance what race is it coast to coast wherever whatever whatever job what should people be looking at what's sarah's sleeper special <laughs> got about a minute okay that's a good question um I've got to go with the Massachusetts governor's race here. We've seen a big upset in Massachusetts before when uh, we won the Senate. And I think that you're going to maybe see the same thing again in the governor's race. 
Today, our candidate there is up by one point, which may not sound like a lot, but considering where the trend has been going, where the momentum is, I think that would be a huge win and a very exciting win. Charlie Baker is a cool guy who would be a great governor for Massachusetts. So uh, that'll be my sleeper on election night, what I'll be sort of, you know, checking my phone for uh, uh, over and over again. Fair enough, and we will check back with you over and over again, or at least once or twice in the two weeks that remain. Sarah Isker Flores of the Republican National Committee, thanks for all that info, including your sleeper race. Now listen, stay wide awake, because coming up, we've got more important issues to discuss here on America's Forum.